On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Pi 104 Pi 3, I was left in the cold and in my feelings after being curved by my wife. Eventually, I was able to hop in an Uber and head back to the city. Unexpectedly, I ended up with an Uber driver that was doing too much. Ended up getting into it with her and she left me on the side of the expressway. Not to mention it was a below zero wind chill outside. Luckily, I was able to be picked up by another Uber driver right before pneumonia settled in. He was a rapper too. Played some of his music and it was actually decent. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Threw me off right after time by we had to stop at his BM crib to get gas money. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Little did I know, I had just secured a front row seat for baby mama monologues and family feuds. Fool actually sent it up with his whole cousin over a box of fruit snacks. One forgot to squan up on that. Right before one forgot to throw on them bitches. Big Twine texted me, said he outside. I had to drop low. Son was telling me long as I was over there, shit wasn't gonna play out in my favor. He took me over to one of his homies' cribs. A big nigga named Bella. They was supposed to have some hoes coming through that never showed up. In the meantime, they offered me some cookies. I about dogged the whole plate. Had me enough. Stuck, you hear me? Hallucinating. I'm talking about enough tweaking. Had me thinking 50 Cent and Tupac was enough. Bowling. Had me feeling real crazy. And right before we was about to leave, Big Twine took some overcooked cookies out of the oven. And I probably would have swore for God one of them cookies hopped off the bacon she complaining about being in the oven too long. Big Twine had to carry me up out of there, boy. I was useless. Gone. The next day, Big Twine linked up with me on Doty Road to get my car out the pound. Trying to look out for my wife ended up getting my shit told from in front of O-Block. Shorty was blowing my phone up the next day. I ain't have much to say to her for real. Big Twine was just concerned about me clearing my head. I decided I was gonna go try and work out. He decided to bell out and go on his own little mesh. We depied. I'm sliding down stony. I end up getting pulled over by 12. Blew my top. Now it was two cops. The lady cop was bad and cool as hell. The male cop, thirsty, overreaching. The lady cop, she ended up running my license. Now while she was doing that, my OG ended up FaceTiming me. Time about she wanted me to stop and pick her up some pads. Wow, honchos. Eventually, the lady cop came back. She gave me my license. Then she asked me to get up out the car. I'm thinking I did something wrong. Whole time, she was just trying to J down and see what was to me. I wasn't even on shit. Last night had threw me all off. I wasn't even in the mood to mingle. I eventually made it to the gym. Ended up meeting this decent little personal trainer. Gave me a free session and everything. Tried to train me on the ropes. Fail. Tried to put me on to the tire drag. Definitely played myself. I ain't even gonna hold you. Shorty was on my mind too tough. I couldn't focus. Left to go get me something to eat. Slept on the waitress too. All cause I was in my feelings. She was a, a glutey glamour too. Left at a stop at the store to go get my mama these pads she asked for. Ended up running into this girl I went to elementary school with. And she was holding but instead of trying to see what's to her she saw right through me i don't know how she did that shit but she was the fourth fumble pass of the day after a long day of love songs playing in my head i eventually gave in and texted her and set up a chance for us to chop it up it was an awkward silence at first until we start getting down to the root of the issue. I spoke my man. She cleared up a few things. 
once we squeezed all of the tension out of the air, it wasn't really nothing left to be mad about. And before you knew it, I was happy again. And we proceeded to make up the right way. Afterwards, she told me Wody had been blowing up her line. Mad as hell all day and she just wanted to give me a heads up cause she ain't know what he was on. I let her know I ain't had no worries. After that, I slid to my OG crib to finally deliver her period package. I get inside and look in the crib. It's in shambles. Everything was on the floor and flipped over. Then I found my OG slumped on the floor. Shortly after, I learned some man caught outside, forced in the crib, and beat her up. The little heads up shorty gave me popped in my head. Made me think to pull out my phone and show OG a picture of Wody. She identified him as the assailant. As if things couldn't get any worse, I found out he not only assaulted my mama, but he kidnapped Brazil. Now it's time to find out what y'all want me to do next. Yeah. My mouth. Fuck you. My mouth. Fuck you. And for some of y'all that don't know what a muff is, the definition is about to be revealed to you right now. I'd like to take this opportunity to explain what the muff is. If I'm able to hoodwink my friend here into looking at this cluster of fingers, I acquire every legal right to take my first and index finger, press them against his forehead, creating a slight backwards motion. I've just been muffed. And that is... The muff. For them gray. So whenever I see any of y'all in the street, y'all already know. Bring it on in and let me get my muff. But anyway, back to the story. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous. On oh God. What the people done spoke. And y'all say y'all want me to take this into my own hands. So that's what it is. Ah, mama, we gotta get you to the ER. I got up off the floor, ran to her room, and grabbed her coat. I knew time was at the S's, and I ain't know the extent of all her injuries. I started putting her coat on. She, I can't believe he took my baby. With a blank stare. Ah, it's okay, mama. We gonna get her back. I picked up off the floor, and we headed towards the door. I noticed the phone and a piece of paper on the counter. I know she hated to be without a mobile device and probably wrote down something she ain't want to forget, so I just grabbed it on the way out. After sitting in the waiting room for a few hours, they finally admitted her into the back. She had to stay overnight, and I had to figure out where was Wody and how was I going to get my little sister back. I take my phone out and call Big Twine. Your call has been forwarded to an... No answer. Next person I thought the call was Shorty. I was finna go. Cool, you hear me? She ain't even know. Your call has been forwarded. No answer. I instantly get a text. It's Shorty. She. Hey, baby, I'm at home. What's up? I text back. I. Whole time. It's over with. I just found my mother slumped in her apartment, beat up because of you. Not to mention, now my little sister is missing now. Don't even trip. Long as you got your daughter, happy for you. Now let your little boyfriend know it's up and it's stuck. Act like we never met. I don't know you, and you don't know me. It was nice while it lasted, though. Take care. Hunted emoji. Then blocked her. Right after that, these two dudes walk up to the ER. One of them was walking funny. I peep the other one. All right, man, listen, man. Before we get up in, man, what happened, man? What happened? Buddy. Damn, man. All right, uh. Man, Shorty said she wanted to get it cracking, so I let her come over to crib. Uh, okay. You had a chance to get a little action. Damn what? Buddy. Damn, man. She came in my room and took her leggings and her panties off. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. When she took her panties off, did it sound like Velcro? Like, like, you understand me? Like, 
buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn, man. All right, man. All right. Damn what, man? Buddy. <gasps> she laid on the bed, and she spread her legs and said, is you going to do this motherfucker or what? Uh, all right, now, listen, man. When she spread her legs, did the room smell like um Cebu Junction? Buddy. <laughs> uh, damn, man. This nigga here, man. Then what happened, man? Buddy. And then I said, for shit show. And then I pulled my pants and my boxes down and got on top of that motherfucker. Uh, all right, so you mean to tell me you hopped on that motorcycle without no helmet? Buddy. <laughs> uh, damn, man. Well, we at the right place. That of which had a sign that said trauma and burn unit. Got to be more careful. I hated to see it. Felt sorry for him, but I had my own problems I had to worry about. Got back to the car, realized I still had my mama phone in my pocket. I pulled out the phone and a piece of paper and noticed that it said, if you reading this, it's too late. In the most misspelled fashion you could possibly write something in. I opened the piece of paper and it had a phone number on it. You won't believe who picked up on the other end of that line. Wody. He was waiting for my phone call the whole time. He picked up. He, hello? Not even knowing that first eye. Who is this? He, it's your boy Wody. How you feeling? Not too good? I'm already knowing. Muffers was kind of rough with your mama. My bad. I was upset. I'm cool now, though. Tell her I said I apologize for no gray. Ah, how did you even find out where my mama stay at? He, eh, you worry about the wrong shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's a lot more important information that you need to be concerning yourself with right now, my boy. Ah, where's my sister? He, type shit. That's what I'm talking about. The real business. Say less, though. And put the phone on speaker. Speak up, little mama. Crying hysterically, Brazil. Brother, get me out of here. I want to go home. Wody, you ugly when you cry. You should try smiling for size. Brazil, stop talking to me. I, Brazil, I, I promise I'm coming to get you. Wody, take it off speaker. He, all right, that's enough for the family reunion. Let's get down to the business. If you ever want to see your younger sibling again, you're going to have to follow my directions. Fail you to do so? And she's a goner. My anxiety was on a thousand at that point. I, I, he, this is what happens when you get involved in affairs that don't concern you. We will communicate via the mobile device I provided you. I ain't had no choice but to play by the man rules. He, I'm going to text you a simple directive. First thing in the morning, complete it, and you get the little one. Fail you to do so? What's understood don't got to be explained. You understand? I couldn't even breathe. It was hard for me to even talk. He, okay, one more time. Do you understand? I, I understand. He, <laughs> cool beans, be by the phone, bust the brown, and hung up. I had to get my little sister, and I had to get her ASAP. When I got off the phone, when I tell you, boy, I was so mad, I get the hit in the steering wheel. But that wasn't going to help me to find her no sooner. All I could do at that point was wait for this text. I had to try to keep cool. I got myself together and pulled off. I pull up to the G station because my shit was damn near on E. I needed to fill up because one no telling where I was going to have to go or what I was going to have to do after fool text me in the AM. I pop out to pump the gas. It was cold as hell. I'm talking about the Hulk was flying low. You hear me? Right before I put my card in to pay for the gas, I found myself being approached by four motherfuckers walking up to me. One of them, damn, this motherfucker decent. What year this is? I, a 21. He, a 21. Damn. Let us see this bitch right quick. We're going to bring this bitch right back. I, what, boy? You got me fucked up. Buddy up, Paul. He, I know you don't want a motherfucker to get jiggy out here. I, 
Nah, you got it. He drop and conceal. He keys, nigga. I pull him out. He snatch him. He pleasure doing business. Then he walked past me, took the pump out, and proceeded to bell in with his homies. One on, go on here, get the fuck on, though. The man won't pop out the car, look at me. Matter of fact, man, get your bitch ass in the car. His homie. Damn, this an adult napping? He, hell yeah. Boy, come on, we out here. His homie. She, well, you heard him. Well, let's go, come on. And escorted me to be a passenger in my own truck. Fool just floating my shit in traffic. His homie. Damn, Scud, this bitch decent. Buddy. Hell yeah, boy. God blessing all the trap niggas. His other homie, buddy back there looking dumb as hell. And they all get the laughing. Motherfuckers caught me lacking outside for sure. Whole town ain't even knowing I got pipe in my bag. Soon as I found the right time to grab it, it was gonna be over with. His other homie, damn, what's in the off-white bag? I couldn't win for losing, I fuck. That was my one and only lifeline. He opened the bag, pull it out, he ooh. On gang, we finna confiscate this. Buddy turn around. He damn shorty. We came up on Glock and a lot? Hell of a night. All I could think about was who was gonna find my sister. His other homie, but for real though, what we gonna do with Buddy ass though? Fool, shit, he riding with us for now. We could pop his ass later if y'all on that. His other homie, hell yeah, broski, we get his ass right together. The other one, all right, shit, let's get with some hoes then. Fool tell his homie in the past, shorty. Hit Bianca and that thick ass flock she be with. He, I right, bet, broski. Fool driving out of nowhere. Whoop whoop. 12 get behind us. He was super blue. His homie looked behind. He, boy, the dick's definitely behind us, boy. Fool. I don't panic. Don't panic. He turned to me. If you say anything, I'm going to get the blowing in this bit. I'm going to go to jail, but you going to go to the upper room. I ain't say nothing. I just looked out the window. The cop get to walking up to the truck real slow with the flashlight. He knock on the window. Fool let the window down. He, you got a problem, officer? The cop, I noticed you were driving a bit erratically. Everything okay in there? Fool hit him with the script. He, you gonna have to excuse me. I'm a little fatigued. Just trying to get me and my friends home after a long day. Denzelin, the cop. Friends, huh? He shine a light in the back. You okay back there? I instantly start getting that. Blink twice if you being held against your will. The cop just looking. He asked fool, why is he blinking like that? Fool looked back. He, don't mind my cousin. He a little special. The cop, y'all make sure y'all get home safe. And slow it down. Fool, I certainly officer. 10 to 2, 10 4. Copy that. Roger that. The cop, I, and then pimped off. Well, there goes my second lifeline. Fool, pull off heat. I know your bitch ass was back there giving distress signals with your eyes. I should pistol whip your bitch ass. At that point, I just accepted life was about to be over soon. Fool, hey, but I ain't gonna lie, I gotta piss. I'm about to hit one of these little alleys right quick. He bent a corner and pull up on this little side street. He double pied and then bop out. It was snowing crazy out of nowhere. Typical Chicago weather. He jogged over to the alley to go do what he had to do. His homie, that's crazy. We finna pop your ass with your own gun. Soon as bro get back, my high was beating hot as hell. His other homie, we about to fuck so many hoes up in this truck, you don't even know. Fooling the passenger on my dead homie. <laughs> right after that, I hear bah, 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 bah. His homie get the clutch heat. What the fuck is that? His other man's, what bro at? Panicking. Somebody was letting them motherfuckers go. They all bell out at the same time. Trying to rush to his side. I had even more shots go off. Come on, man. Opportunity only knocks once. What I had to lose at that point. I bell out the back, hop in the front. Praying the guy he ain't had the keys on him. I look in a cup holder. They right there. Boy, I instantly. I skirt off. I made it home, but I ain't getting much sleep for real. I couldn't stop thinking about my sister. All night, all I did was stay checking the phone, trying to see if he messaged me or not. Every time, nothing. This was worse than waiting for your taxes to drop. 
Her cry for help was the only thing that kept replaying over and over again in my head. Even though she a bug, she's still my baby sister. I couldn't get in touch with Big Twan the night before, so I decided to try and hit his line again. I get up out the bed and pick up the phone and try and FaceTime him. By the grace of God, he pick up. Clearly just waking up, he, what's the word, bro? SMH, I had to take a deep breath out. Bro, you don't even know. Shit been crazy ever since last night. I tried to hit you. He, boy, I was knocked out. Fell asleep fake early as hell for real. Motherfuckers was tired as hell. SMH and I. We got a link, bro. I'm finna pull up on you. He. I bet. And we hung up. I needed as much help as I can get for this one. And bro was always there for me. All I needed now was for fool to text the phone. I grabbed the phone and got up and got ready to get up out of there. I pull up on Big Twine. I ain't even know where to start. Hey, why you looking like that boy was going on? I finally gathered some words. I, he beat my mama up. Big Twine, beat your mama up. Who? What are you talking about? Taking a deep breath. I, and he kidnapped Brazil. Big Twan, whoa, 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 whoa. You tweaking me out. If you don't help me to understand everything right now, I'm finna steal on your ass. Ah, Wody found out where my mama stay. SMH. Caught her outside lacking, I guess. Forced her in the crib and beat her up. And then after that, he took Brazil. He, how the fuck he fa- Wait a minute. That's why Daphne asked what your Facebook was. Damn. Ah, and then this nigga left a phone and a letter on my mama counter i grab it and call a number and it's him and he basically telling me that he's going to send me a text message today that i gotta wait for with directions on what i need to do in order to get brazil back he man what type of marvel dc comic villain shit is he on i if i would have never started fucking with shorty none of this would ever happen i sent her a text message going cool and just blocked her this shit wild as hell he Man, let me call Shorty on Facebook right quick. She got me blocked. That shit wild as hell. Ah. All I could do is wait for this text message to come. He, we finna go to the O right now. Ah, and go die. I don't think that's a good idea for real. Big Twine, man, at this point, I'm ready to do anything. We out here today. Ah, I need to get some gas before this bitch cut off. We gone. He say less. I put them a fucking gear and pull off. We get to the gas station. Big Twine peep the fuel level. He, boy, you can't be riding these new things on E like that. Fuck wrong with you, boy. I, I tried to get some gas last night. At some H. Motherfuckers end up carjacking. He, carjacking? Is you serious? I, I got this motherfucker back. But they got away with my pole, though. He, boy, you need to start going to church. You must not be living right. Your ass been going through it. I, I guess. I'm finna get this gas. And I bopped out to make my second attempt to get a fill up. It was damn near cold it in and it was the night before when the sun was out. Chicago weather could be so cruel. Right before I was finna pump my gas, I peep out of my peripheral. A little fun size Cinnabon sat shan across the parking lot. I was freshly divorced, so I instantly, how you doing, beautiful? She turned around. She, boy, stop it. Your ass pop wildwood, fuck. Ah, what? Big forehead squirrel looking ass. She, squirrel? That makes sense. Because I'm definitely nuts. I'll pop your ass right now as you stupid. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, my bad, shorty. I don't want no smoke with you. I ain't going to lie. She, oh, okay. Because I thought motherfuckers want to see their dead granny again. Tuck blicking. Pimped off, slugging and slimy. I ain't even see that one coming, I ain't gonna lie. I finished gassing up and then bopped back in the car. Big Twine, boy, what the fuck you do to piss Shorty off? I, I just need to stay away from all gas stations at this point. SMH. Right then, I get a notification. I, I think he sent me a message. I read it. He say, I want you to order an Italian beef from Baba's, hot peppers and cheese. I want it dipped but not soggy. I don't like wet bread, LOL. I'll follow up with instructions after. 
confused. Ah, he want me to go get him an Italian beef. Big Twan, boy, your ass lying. Ah, on my mama. This nigga want an Italian beef from Baba's. He, this shit goofy as hell. Fuck, we gone. We at Baba's, fuck. Honestly, I was just happy to be getting closer to getting Brazil back. We pull up to Baba's on 147. We bopping sad. Luckily, it wasn't nobody in line. Ah. I can't believe the fate of my little sister's existence is based off an Italian beef sandwich. Big Twan, he better not let us bring it to him personally. We gonna beat him to death. Fuck him up. Ah, what? Boy, bl Next thing you know, I hear somebody arguing. Some chick with red hair and a dude that looked like he bench 800. Twan, fuck they, fuck they got going on. Dude, we could have just went to my mom's house and ate. Shit's crazy. Shorty, I already told you your mama can't cook. I don't give a fuck what you say. This shit nasty as hell. Her cornbread be dry as hell. Tough ass pot roast. I almost got carpal tunnel trying to cut that shit. I'm not going back over there. He, you're crazy. Back home, my mom had the best food in Boston. She, boy, I said what I said. Her old ass can't cook. I don't even eat Boston Market. Shorty was fed up. He, man, what? My mama got that. <laughs> he really got the cut and the rug in there, boy. A dancing bulldozer, boy. He really got the. If Arnold Schwarzenegger was one of the Jabberwocky members, that's what it'll look like. Everything in my pocket, that man was musty after that, boy. That was my first time ever seeing a dinosaur dance. It was wild, I ain't gonna lie. Shorty, I thought I was done with Chicago niggas, but I'm out to come on back home. Cause this whole dancing fire detector battery shit you got going on, I ain't with it. And pimped off. I only in Chicago, boy. That shit crazy. Hey, whole time, let me get an Italian beef with hot peppers and cheese. Dip, not too much though, that's important. Imperative. The lady coming right up. Big Twan, we don't need no mistakes. Brazil gotta come home today. Deep sigh, ah, she got to. We get the food, I hit Wody, he hit me back with a location. We pull up, we get there, Big Twan. You sure we at the right place? Ah, he said the parking lot of River Oaks. He told me to text him once motherfuckers pull up. I hit him, just pulled up, he. This red or plum color van finna pull up. Might be red though. Hand over the little you dig to my mans. Ah. He said a red van about to pull up. Twine, a red van. He look, he. I think that's them over there. Whole time it was really a, a plum color van that start pulling around the snow bank in the parking lot. Real slow. It looked like it was two dudes sitting in there. Wody text me. Don't try to play crazy with my homie either. I still got your little sister. Ah, he just texted and told us not to try nothing with the pickup person. Or he gonna do what he need to do with Brazil. He, you lucky cause I was finna beat the brakes off this man. One of the dudes, he bop out the driver's side and come post up in front of the van on business. Deep side out. Right, well, here we go. And I grab the Italian beef and me and Big Twan bop out. We walk up to him. Buddy, ice grilling. He, you got the woo wop? Ah, right, yeah. And hand him the food. He snatch it and get the unraveling that motherfucker furiously. He, look, he, these gardenia peppers, right? Ah, right, the standard high peppers, yes, sir. He bite it to that motherfucker. You would have thought he ain't ate all year. Ah. So so we all good? He was damn near halfway finished already. He all oh yeah. He called Wody. He. Yeah, it's all good. This motherfucker busting too. Look at me. Yeah, check your messages. And then he proceeded to return back to his vehicle. Me and Big Twine bought back into my truck. Cold as hell. I checked the phone. I got a message. Appreciate you, but nah, look though. In 30 minutes, either a Harold's or a Uncle Remus location is about to be shot up. Your little sister will be in the lobby of one of those locations. Let me know which one you slide into and I'ma send a low pressure, I'm sure. LOL. Big Twan, what's wrong? What'd he say? Ah. This man say we got 35 minutes to either pull up to Harold's or Uncle Remus. Or Brazil gonna be caught in crossfire. Big Twan, how the fuck are we supposed to know which one to go to?
This why I need y'all help. Brazil life depend on it. Should I go to Uncle Remus or should I go to Harold's? Drop in the comments where I need to go. And on the next episode of Black Chicago Be Like Power 104 Power 5, that's what it's going to be. I hope y'all right. Don't send me off. On oh God. I ain't having, now I'm having shit. I got money in my cabinets. I owe a fortune on my taxes. I got my ass, you be mad at it. I ain't having now, I'm having shit. I ain't having now, I'm having shit.